Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Since my last video, I've been getting a lot of requests and a lot of questions about how I do my brows on a daily basis. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what is included in my brow routine. So if you guys want to see how I got my brows, not the rest of my makeup, disregard that because I just got done doing a 10 minute makeup challenge. Be on the lookout for that video also. But if you guys want to see how I got my brows, keep on watching. So since everybody has like a different brow shape, some people have less, some people have more, you got to kind of like work with what you have. But this is how I do my brow. This is not for everybody. This is just what I like to do with my brows. For me, I usually use four main brushes and sometimes it varies. I use a spoolie. You could use any spoolie. This spoolie is from Real Techniques. I use a regular crease brush and I got this from Walmart. Um, it's from Moda. I use a flat brush. I don't even know what the name of it is because it, it's I use it so often it like rubbed off. I got this in my BoxyCharm. Um, and then this, I've had this for years. It's just a regular angled brush. Along with that, I usually use um, my tape shape, tape, shape tape. <laughs> in the color deep to carve out my brows and then I use lately I started using a dark brown black gel liner that I got from in my boxy charm this is from the, the brand vulgar pretty vulgar and I use this on the end of my brows also since my brows tend to be on the oily side and I want my brows to last all day I usually set my brows with um, I use my Sasha Buttercup, but you could use any setting powder to kind of soak up some of the oil so your brows can last longer. And the last thing is, you I feel like you're either a pencil person or you're a pomade person. I am a pencil person. I just feel like it works better for me. I feel like because my skin gets um, to be a little bit oily, I think that it lasts a little bit longer than if I was to use a pomade. So the pomade, the brow pencil that I'm going to be using is Rimmel London in the color dark brown and honestly I feel like getting a pencil is like the cheapest route because it's like there's a lot of drug and drug store um brands that carry a lot of good um pencils and this is one of them so let's get into the video so the first step in my brow routine is to set my brows with my Sasha Buttercup I use a little bit too much in that. So after I pat it over my brows, I just gently dust it off. And then I use my spoolie to kind of brush my brows into place. I think the best thing is your brows come out better when you have a freshly sharpened pencil if you're going to be using a pencil and if you're going to be using a pomade you want to make sure that your brush is washed and I feel like it will give you more flexibility with your brush than if you already have products on it so I'm going to be taking my brush and I'm going to be following my natural brow shape which there's not really much of, but sometimes you just got to work with what you got. <laughs> and then add some on. So for me, I don't really have any tails to the bottom of my brows. So I tend to fill that in a little bit more. And then as I get to the front, I do softer strokes. And then you just want to go back and forth with your spoolie and brush it out to make sure that your brows are completely blended. Me, the biggest thing that I don't really like to see on myself or other people is when their brows come in too close. Realistically, your brows should not be... You're supposed to have at least two spaces in between your brows. So if you have less than that, I believe that you're doing too much. But then again, 
that's just my opinion you know you don't really have to listen to me but you should have at least two spaces in between your brows well maybe i shouldn't say that because everybody has bigger fingers than some but you need to have a good amount of space in between your brows like there's no reasons why your brows need to be like twins conjoined twins like that's just a no so the next step is i'm gonna be going in with my <clears throat> shape tape and i'm gonna be putting a little bit on the back of my hand and i'm gonna be this is when you if you've made any mistake mistakes you can go in and kind of clean up your brows a little bit And if you're not used to doing your brows, you kind of want to take your time. I do my brows almost every day, so I kind of have an idea of how I want my brows to be. And then with this, you kind of use it to just like brush it down so it's like blended. And for the top, I don't want to use too much products on it. But it's usually not that bad because whenever I use a concealer to carve out uh, my brows, there it's not really so much far from the color of my skin. Sometimes, depending on if I'm going to be doing uh, eyeshadow, I'll go a little bit darker. But for my normal brows, I tend to use a shade that's closest to my skin color. And I'm just using this brush to blend out the concealer so that it's nice and even. And I even use it to kind of blend out the front of my brows and then after i'm done with that the last thing that i do is i go in with that angled brush and that darker gel brush gel what is it gel liner and i just lightly add to the tail of my brows And to me, it gives it like a good gradient effect. That last step is not necessary, but I feel like to me, if I'm not really doing much with my eyeshadow, I feel like that gives it a good enough pop that you know you don't have on any um eyeshadow but you still have that i don't know what word i'm looking for but when i you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm gonna do my other brow, brow and then i'm gonna come back so if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you guys can keep up to date with all my new videos don't forget to like and comment below and let me know what you guys think about the look and also if you have any requests for any other videos thank you guys